everybody, this is Dave from Vintage King. We're at my home studio, lovingly known as Go Davey Go. And today we're going to talk about something that I seem to get a lot of questions about. And that's UAD plugins versus hardware. The usual first question is, are they good? The answer is a resoundingly yes. The second question is, are they as good as the hardware? And that's something that I'm going to let you guys decide in our new web video. Today we're going to compare UA plugins with hardware. We have a Neve 33609. We have a Chandler Zener limiter. We have a Neve 1073. We have a TubeTech CL1B. And we have an 1176. The program material we're going to listen to today is from an artist named Joshua Ketchmark. And it's off his album All She Wrote. The track is called Fever. First we're going to start with the drums. We've got program material that is a drum bounce of the full kit as if we were using it as a parallel compression bus. I've got the Neve 33609 plug-in and the Neve 33609N. Now this is the latest Neve 33609 hardware piece and it is a little bit different from the plug-in but it's what we have. So you may hear some differences in how they both sound. Now you're going to notice a lot of differences. The hardware and the plug-in are matched setting-wise. I did not match them to my ear. Now I can match them to my ear, but I thought with the Neve 33609 in particular, the settings were going to be so different, I didn't think it was fair. Again, you can get that same sound out of the plug-in, you just have to play with it differently. The next thing we're going to listen to is we have the bass running through the TubeTech CL1B. Now those sound a lot more similar. The plug-in settings and the hardware settings are incredibly close. There aren't detents on the CL1B, so it is kind of a little bit of a game getting it dialed in, but I do think that you can hear the differences, but yet they're similar enough where you understand where we're coming from. So now the next track we're going to listen to is an organ track, and the organ has a Neve 1073 on it. First, we're going to listen to the plug-in. Again, this is also quite similar from the plug-in to the hardware, but there are harmonic differences you can hear, and it's up to you to decide what's more important. Now we're going to listen to guitar tracks. It's a stereo acoustic track that we're putting through the Zener limiter. Let's start with the plug-in. Great. Now what we're going to listen to is the vocal. The vocal we have going through the 1176 plug-in, that is the 1176 Rev-E. The 1176 Rev-E to me felt the closest to the current 1176 LN, which is the hardware. Come on baby, get up. Let's leave this place in the dust. Can you feel it in your blood? We were born to run. Let's get out of here. And that's the vocal. So now what I'd like to do is I'm going to play all of those tracks at the same time where it's just the plugins and then we'll do it where it's just the hardware. I think what this shows is what the sonics are from using plugins to hardware 
just so you can hear the differences. Come on, baby, get up. Let's leave this place in the dust. Can you feel it in your blood? We were born to run. Let's get out of here. Come on, baby, get up. Let's leave this place in the dust. Can you feel it in your blood? We were born to run. Let's get out of here. So there you go. We've listened to plugins, we've listened to hardware. Clearly, it's great to have hardware and it's also great to have plugins. I would love to be able to have 10 Zener limiters on a track and I just can't. The plugins sound great. The hardware sounds great. It's up to you to decide on what you like better, but clearly they're both really important to have for your rig. UA plugins and hardware working together making your mixes better.